everybody, it's your favorite English teacher here, Amy Joy, and today I want to share with you five tips for formatting a paper. You may not know this about me, but I am actually a college writing instructor. So in this video, I am going to tell you some of the mistakes that my students make and easy ways to avoid them. Okay, tip number one, indent your paragraphs. Now, as an instructor, I prefer it when my students use the tab button instead of the space bar. You can use five spaces and technically that is fine, but it's still really hard to see those indentations. So my advice, use the tab button when indenting your paragraphs. Here you can see we have two paragraphs, but it is a little bit difficult to see where they separate. So by using the tab button, we can indent the first paragraph and then the second paragraph to make it a little bit clearer for your reader. Okay, tip number two. Make sure all of your text is the same font, size, and color. If you copy and paste something from the internet or another document, make sure it all matches. Here you can see a paragraph from my student. They started off with the font Times New Roman, as you can see, but then when they copied and pasted something from the internet, they changed to Roboto. So by using Control A, make sure that you make everything look the same. Change your font, change the size, and make sure you change the color so that everything matches. Tip number three. Revise capitalization when revising. If you add a new word or phrase to the beginning of your sentence, make sure you adjust and lowercase the next word in the sentence. Here you can see we have an original sentence and the revised sentence. The student added the word also in the second sentence, but forgot to lowercase the A in as. So make sure if you add new words to the beginning of the sentence, you revise your capitalization. And moving on to tip number four, reference authors by their last name. You might have heard this rule before, but maybe you don't know why, so I want to explain a little bit. When you call someone by their first name, it is less formal. It sounds like you are friends. So when you use the first name of an author in a piece of formal writing, it sounds like you and the author are friends, which can be a little bit funny. But if you are not familiar with English names, sometimes it can be confusing as to which one is the first name or the last name. So let me help you. English names appear first name, last name. So in the example of Dana Ferris, Dana is the first name and Ferris is the last name. But if you see an author's name with a comma, then this means the last name is first. So in the example Ferris, comma, Dana, Ferris is the last name and Dana is the first name. Let's take a look at an example. My student wrote, in the book, Changing Practices for the L2 Writing Classroom, Dana Ferris and Hogan Hayes discussed the five paragraph essay. Dana gave her students a survey and found that most students in her class have a negative attitude to the five paragraph essay. So here you can see that my student mentioned the author's first name instead of her last name. So we need to change the word Dana into her last name, Ferris, because my student and the author are not friends. And my last tip, number five, put your work's cited page in alphabetical order. Here you can see a work's cited page with four different citations but these citations are not in alphabetical order. And alphabetical order just means in the order of A to Z. So let's go ahead and fix this. Let's take our citation that begins with L, cut it, and paste it before the W. Now you can see that our works cited page is in alphabetical order beginning with C, going to D, L, and then W. Now, some of this advice might seem easy, basic, or like common sense, but you would be surprised at how often I see these mistakes. So take my advice, 
Be a little bit more careful when revising your papers and your instructors will definitely thank you. All right, well, that's all for today. If you learned something new from this video or you found it helpful at all, I would really appreciate it if you would click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I want to help as many students as possible and your likes and subscribes go a long way. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.